Right then, once again I was on Vlad9BT's channel and I noticed another video that I had to just lay out for you and tell you exactly what it was. There is actually one more. I won't say where it is because you will all go look at it. But that will be just as interesting, if not more. And this gets into the petrified, saturated wood that most of this channel is now beginning to lean towards. The rest of it is about calcified, saturated, solidified concrete, isn't it? Rebar. But this particular video, in fact, 90% of it, everything that you're going to see from now on, is petrified wood in one way or another, right? And it's strange because you can get what seems to be trees rotting away at the size of it, right? So, look, I don't know if before the flood, the wood, the trees that was on this earth were slightly different. And the site that I've just shown you there, so straight off the bat, this is getting back into all the petrified, saturated wood that I have been showing you very recently is where much of my work has led me. That's not to say that they built with concrete en masse like we do today. And yes, our concrete doesn't last much over 50 to 100 years. It, it corrodes, erodes to dust. Leaving the rebar behind or the rebar erodes first and then it will corrode down to nothing and fall down, right? It lasted due to the volcanic ash that covered at least the whole of Europe, most of Russia too. And I believe myself now from work I've done that it caused enormous tsunamis. I don't know if this was the Great Flood. I think the Great Flood was a separate event, but it covered what we call the highest mountains. That's for sure. Due to the work that I've shown you around Machu Picchu. Okay. But uh, I'm going to zoom in on the corner of this. What they have now built into a gate. And you will see that this is absolutely petrified wood now whether or not this stuff petrifies in this way because our reality our realm was different back then the trees the wood was different so it petrified in a different way or oh, it is literally the ash and the flood has caused this you can take a pick, because I'm not too sure, but I do know what I'm looking at and I've proved it at nauseum these past five years.
right i'm just going to speak for a little bit longer on this video i would urge all of you to check out my dolmen videos like i'm always hyping on about because it was about two years ago when i when it hit me that i was onto something major with this and all the tree of life uh, real geology videos final jigsaw videos i urge you all to dig into those uh, before you fully get and understand the seriousness of what i've landed on here so some of these sites here well this one here is the major reason is the main reason why i made this video when i watched Vlad's video if you can try to imagine just carving away huge one ton slabs and placing them on the roof well you, you will be placing them on what for one thing so you're talking about a wooden frame are you placing one ton slabs on, one ton slabs about 20 of them over what just think about that uh, it's petrified wood and it's so blatantly obvious in a in fact i'm just going to leave the rest of the video now to run through i will do my best to find the best images i can to make it blindingly obvious for you and i'll get back to you again pretty soon with another video i do want to come back in and say this though on this particular image here because if you look at the little what look like door stoppers little pieces of wood shaped in a V section yeah you tap them in in between the big blocks that you're looking at there and you do that just to tighten the whole roof up tighten the wooden framing up anyone that's built anything like this will know what I'm talking about especially if you was in a wood and you were building something quickly you wanted it tight you would be tapping those little door stoppers down the whole structure to keep it tight and they've also petrified there's more proof for you people <laughs> 